Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hotsasi, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Still in our small four duplicates and cold base here on the Rhine planet. Um, last time we started uh, laying down some some wires. Uh, now that we have uh, gold available and we also siphon off a bit of the, the water from in here to uh, to down there uh, so that we are not actually running out of water that fast and now that the water level is below this level we can actually try to analyze this event and then of course we have another one up here which is about to, uh, to erupt and I think what we need to do to use that water but currently around here it's cold and uh, we want to separate the cold that's outside this chamber from what's inside this chamber maybe at the same time spare a bit of the chamber read We will see how that goes and probably here on the, on the top. Ladders. Our duplicates are getting uh, scalded uh, because they hate the hot, um, the hot gold into their bare hands. So another thing that we should do is. here uh, and then we would of course need to have a means to transport the gold so that is probably a research that we have not yet done
what we need. Nothing more. So that means uh, our uh, researcher is busy with the cool steam vent, but also with uh, additional uh, research. At least uh, the basic research can also be uh, done by, uh, by someone else, but Gossman has to operate the steam And that will take quite a bit of, uh, of time, I guess. Things are sorted out. Ooh, that one is also already uh, a build. So then let's see. Here we have priority six. And that one's here. We have uh, priority seven. And we probably want. Place this with conductive wire. Let's not do uh, uh, all at at once, because currently we have a potential load of hundred and a thousand and hundred watt. And the wire can only handle a thousand watt. But I think currently we are never using all the machines that are hooked up. So the wiring should be good in theory. But if we want to hook up more, like the uh, auto sweeper, um, we probably have to. Here. Which means more work for our duplicants. Yay! All the wire is now replaced, and I also laid out uh, the wire from top down for when we can actually get a bit of power from uh, this side, as this one. Is still 15 cycles away, but it is nearing. Uh, over here on this side, we made a bit of progress, but not too much. And above here, I think there is no progress, but we do have a bit more uh, water in here, and the temperatures are above zero so the water is not freezing immediately immediately so in order to get these things done we usually have to uh, increase the priority a bit so that uh, they will focus on, uh, on those things down here the temperatures are still too low for the uh, arbor trees to grow. Hopefully we can change that once we get more power in. Because currently this uh, one coal generator, I think three heaters that's the, the max that we can afford to power. But of course, we then should probably also think about uh, having a few more batteries on here and uh, connect them like this. Then we also talked about last episode in uh, basically making a, a electric system or electric bus, power bus, 
running somewhere uh, in this area over here then we could also go down here on the on the side and uh, basically wherever we need have a transformer to bring in additional power um, I also got rid of a few of the sage hatches that were in here because we have little guys here that we want to actually put in here and that's only possible if the number of creatures are below the, the max that we set so and we did have 10 creatures in there so yeah that topped up uh, our, our food supply a bit which is always nice and um, yeah so i think once the power cable is done then i think we should really focus on uh, getting that uh, geyser analyzed so that we uh, have a more precise uh, um, estimation of when we can expect new water coming out uh, because now that we also siphon off water down here that's a bit of a problem because we might take out more water than we can actually replenish and then of course we have an issue with our oxygen production which we want to avoid so okay this cable is is almost done so then let's uh raise that priority and maybe let's uh gossman and rowan uh heal up a bit because they apparently have carried around too much hot gold uh, and then we will eventually figure out this guy's over here and after that we can tackle the one up here and there we have it the research analysis is finally complete and now we can see we have an active period of about uh, seven uh, 38 out of uh, 67 cycles so that's a bit more than uh, 50 percent and uh, it's active soon again and up here we are seven cycles away so I think before we uh, uh, try to uh, um, to uh, deal or analyze this one we should actually uh, make sure that we have this up here completed um, so that we can store the energy that we are producing and then uh, all we have to do is uh, connect it down here and of course we can uh, cue this uh, this analysis but i guess that uh, they will do the higher prioritized uh, tasks first um, and that should be in time uh, for the geyser uh, to erupt. At least, I hope so. Dearly. It 
took a bit to get Rowan to build this uh, wire here, so I had to increase priority and also uh, lower his uh, priority to do uh, uh, actual opera operating because otherwise he was basically constantly on the on the wheel on the hamster wheel um, so that was not good and I figured um, What's wrong here is with this setup. Um, if we look at power, we are using more than 800 watt that we can generate with this one. Um, so that's why we actually uh, uh, require uh, something else. But if we just add another uh, one of these here, uh, that should actually solve the problem. And of course, then we have to uh, split the, the hydrogen. But with two of them, there should be enough power. Uh, in order to uh, uh, power them constantly and that means uh, we are spending less time on the treadmill so I hope that works out down here we have the uh, auto sweeper and that works nicely putting the coal into the generator uh, when needed and up here we now have finished uh, the replacement set uh, in time before this geyser actually uh, spews out any natural gas so let's see if we can uh, finish that project there as well and hopefully that would then help us uh, along greatly uh, in order to not have to constantly uh, run here to, uh, to have additional power for this setup. But it takes a while and we also have to uh, hook up the, the power to the cable but we are, we are getting there and we will need the treadmill initially uh, to kickstart the system until we get enough hydrogen into the generators so that they can work on their own. And then let's see, we'll take the uh, hatchling eggs because eventually we can we can get coal out of them, but uh, maybe they will also uh, supply us with a bit of uh, meat so. Somewhat. Let's hope that works out and uh, in the long run. 
and then we will see next time what uh, this geyser actually does finish up the setup up here and hopefully getting some power out of natural gas so until next time goodbye